But as you can see, this is what the 14 minute mark gets you. I can't even push it in, see it breaks, but it doesn't like squish in. All right, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna see how long you actually have to cook the cookies to get them what specific way. And do not talk about my um, baking sheet. If it don't look like this, you ain't really cooking. You feel me? I already know this is character. This is this is wonderfulness. You know what I'm saying? It is clean, but this is just what well, that color has transformed. That ain't coming off. You feel me? I'm gonna be putting one cookie on the sheet, and then I'm gonna start a timer, and then I'm gonna see what it is and how it is like after that timer ends. Then I'm gonna do the same thing again, and so on for each amount of time. So. Let's get straight to it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of butter and then I'm gonna add the cookie, throw it in the oven, start the timer. Butter, cookie, do that bad boy in there. And also the temperature is on 350 as well. Just wanted to let that be known. All right, so right now we're about four minutes in. As you can see, that's quite soggy, quite gooey. Still cannot eat that, that is not okay. All right, as of right now, we are eight minutes in. We are gonna take a look at it. Okay, so as you can see, eight minutes in, if you tap it, it's gonna cave in, okay? Some people might want it gooey like that. You can actually put it on a plate and see if you like it like that. It's not gonna hurt to see if it'll get a little bit more, um, I guess, solid by letting it you know, dry. And if that's how you like it, eat it. But you could always add it back to the stove. Like there's nothing wrong with putting it back into the stove. But as you can see, it's gonna still be very, very soft. And if you try to scoop it up, see, it's going to break. Took that one out, eight minute mark, and we're gonna see if it even changes after it's set for a while, cooled off, and whatever the case may be. If it's gonna be delicious and delectable to eat. All right, so I already had the butter, but it melted, but I put it right there. Now we're gonna put it back in there. We're gonna put this cookie in here for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna do exactly what the lowest time amount says on the package. And here we are. We are at the 10 minute mark. The minimum amount of time that they have on the package. Let's take a look. Very similar to the last batch, but we're gonna slide that over to the plate and then do it again for the next amount of time that they say. And as you can see, it's still very soft just trying to move it. So I don't want to break it. Oh, I'm breaking it. I'm breaking it. I know you're supposed to let it cool off without moving it, but man, I have to do. Okay, first of all, I'm trying to move this while it's not cooled off. It's not a very smart idea. I, f I really am sure that if I would have just let it cool off, this would not have broke. So you can cook it for 10 minutes and it'd be fine. So there's our 10 minute cookie. There's our eight minute <laughs> cookie. And as you can see, this is nice. I like that consistency. Ugh, hold on, that's soft. Mm. Oh yeah, that's right on time. You're just gonna have to, oh yeah, that's nice. If you want your cookie soft, Mm, eight minutes is on point. Just let it cool off or try your best not to break it. Because this was eight minutes and I did my best to not break it. This is 10 minutes and I, I broke it. But once this cools off, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be a little bit more hard than this one, but this one was soft as heck. So this is still gonna be soft, but we're gonna check in in just a second. All right, so third time's the charm. We have that in there. We're gonna cook it for the longest amount that it says on the back of the package, which is 14 minutes, we'll check in after that. And this is around 14 minutes. I do not like my cookies like this. <laughs> this is what you're gonna get if you cook it for around 14 to 15 minutes. As you can see, the color it looks, and it's, it's gonna be a more hard cookie than the other ones. So this is what you're going for, this is what you like. Awesome, as you can see, it's not as easily bending and wanting to break as the other ones. So, gonna put that on the plate, let it cool. I've got it on the plate. We're gonna check on the 10 minute cookie. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I like it like this also. So, to me, eight minutes to 10 minutes is the sweet spot. Nice, soft cookie. 
still melted, everything looking nice. But as you can see, it will be a little bit more on the gooey side. But if you'd like a soft gooey cooking, then I guess you good, man, you cooking. Oh yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's delectable. Now this, you already hear what he's doing. And we're gonna check on him after he cools off. I'm not gonna lie to you, I almost forgot to check on this one and taste it because this is not how I like my cookies. <clears throat> but as you can see, this is what the 14 minute mark gets you. I can't even push it in, see it breaks, but it doesn't like squish in. So if you like your cookies like this, more of like the Crunchy Chips Ahoy type of deal, you know, this is a perfect cookie for you. You can like your cookies however you want. I don't judge nobody, but this is the little chew test. You got a little crunch straight through that bad boy from the sides to the middle, everything. So. If you like it like that, do it like that. But keep in mind, any time past 14 minutes, you're going to be going into some dangerous territory of possibly burning your cookie. This is fine. This does not taste burnt at all. But if you go anywhere far past 14 minutes, your cookies are probably going to be burnt. And there you have it. I decided on 10 minutes, around 11 minutes for the cookies. Gonna give them a taste and see how it goes. So I decided on 10 to 11 minutes is the perfect way for me. These cookies have cooled off and there you have it. Look, nice. Mmm, got a little crunch on the outside of it, on the corners, on the side. Well, those cookies don't have corners. Has a little bit of crunch around the side, as you can hear. Mmm. But the center is nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Love it. If this video helped you out, please slam the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know down below at how many minutes you like to cook your cookies. What's the perfect amount of time on 350 preheated oven and how many minutes you like to cook your cookies for them to be wow, magnificent to you. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.